Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, the channel where we dive into the fascinating world of medicine, its history, and its impact on our health today. Before we start, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane to revisit a once popular antiseptic that adorned medicine cabinets around the world, mercurochrome. But wait, when was the last time you saw this bright red liquid? Let's find out why it vanished from the shelves. First introduced in the early 20th century, mercurochrome, also known by its generic name, merbromin, became a household name. Parents and healthcare providers reached for this antiseptic for every scrape and cut. But what exactly is mercurochrome, and how does it work? To understand that, we need to dive into its main ingredient, merbromin. Let's break it down. Merbromin is a compound that contains mercury, which in certain forms can be toxic. The mercury in mercurochrome, however, was believed to be in a less harmful form. It's this mercury that gives the solution its antiseptic properties, killing bacteria and preventing infection. Sounds great, right? So why isn't it used anymore? Did you know? Mercurochrome was once so popular that it was known as monkey blood in some areas because of its distinctive color. Well, in the 1990s, concerns about the safety of mercury even in small amounts, started to grow. Several studies questioned the wisdom of using mercury-based products, particularly on children. Due to these concerns, countries like the United States began to reevaluate products containing mercury. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, reclassified mercurochrome from generally recognized as safe to untested, leading to a significant decline in its use. But it's not just safety concerns that led to the downfall of mercurochrome. Advances in medicine have provided us with a plethora of alternatives that are both safer and more effective. Today, we have options like hydrogen peroxide, iodine, and alcohol-based antiseptics, just to name a few. So, what's the takeaway from our journey with mercurochrome? It's a reminder of how medical practices evolve. What was once a staple in first, aid treatment has now become a part of medical history. While mercurochrome is still available in some parts of the world, it serves as a nostalgic memory for many and a testament to the ever-changing landscape of healthcare. Did you or someone you know ever use mercurochrome? Share your stories in the comments below. And if you're fascinated by the history of medicine, Check out our playlist right here.